What are you doing? I'm watching TikTok. Oh, we're on. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Darren here. Hi, buddy. Welcome to the White Hatter YouTube News Show. My TikTok. name is Brandon. Yes. We got our own TikTok channel. <laughs> I've been posting it in like a year. I know. Pretty cr it's, busy. It's cringy, too. Didn't we do like 51 programs last month? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's, I know. it's just unbelievable. <laughs> but, you know, people are still hitting our TikTok page, right? Yeah. It's just it's awesome, right? Yeah. We got we to gotta we gotta TikTok back on it again, right? Yes. Anyways. Maybe when we don't have 51 programs planned. I know. We got, like, I just shared with you. I just looked at our email and just in the, because I, I just finished the presentation. That's why I'm, obviously. That's why I'm you, you can obviously it. tell, like, who just who, did a presentation. Who's doing presentation. Because who's ever wearing a tie, they just did a presentation, right? If you're not wearing a tie, you didn't do a presentation. Pretty much. But uh, I just, like, I've got, like, five or six emails that just came in from people. Yeah. It's just unbelievable, right? Which is awesome. Yeah. It's just awesome. So. Uh, let's talk about some news. In the news. In the news. Uh, first topic for the news today from last week is uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Uh, What's that? Class action lawsuit. $650 million. <laughs> That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So, apparently, so uh, class action lawsuit, Illinois, going through basically... Uh, because claimed that Facebook broke Illinois privacy law yeah. by collecting and scanning people's faces without consent, yeah. all that stuff, and yeah. basically uh, that's a lot of money. Yeah, TikTok got hit with a big one last week too. I mean, about a year ago they they were hit with a, I think it was 5.7 million dollar one, and they well, just got a new one from Europe that was hit on because of GDPR. Two years GDP ago, or, YouTube was hit. Yeah, I mean it's it's a big deal, right? Like it's and it is about time that these 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 companies are being held accountable. But again, you know, I, I kind of get it. They're free, right? Like, they're all free. So they got to make money somehow. And it's pretty well known now that one of the ways they do this is by collecting information and sharing it. But what's important is they now have to start disclosing it, which they're not doing. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, they can still, I mean, they can, they can revert back to the old way of doing things, which is just static ads, mm. non-targeted ads. Which but there's no money in that. Th there is money, but it's it, it's it's a lot sellable. So if I if we had the White Hatter team wanted to put our Facebook ad out there, right, right, and that it, why you know Facebook it would hit random people that we wouldn't be able to control. Uh, gotcha. That's why targeted ads are so effective, and that's why people buy into these platforms hey, to um, do that. Can you uh, shrink the the little thing down in the corner? I got a question for you. Hmm. Well, what's this stream deck for right here? People don't see it. Let me tell you. That one? There's a new one right here. Like, look at. Yes, there's upgrades like, happening. Here it is, right here. Look, there's, there's upgrades coming to the studio. Well, what are we going to be doing with that one? Uh, that was going. It's going to be sound effects. It's like, going to be a sound. Boing, 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 it's going to be a soundboard. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yes. Wah, wah. Yes. Gonna <laughs> it's gonna go with one of the other camera. It's gonna, gonna be there. so cool, right? Like yeah. just just the things that you're building into the platform right now. We're gonna be talking about uh, the platforms a little bit later, but it's it's so cool to see what you're doing, right? Yes. Uh, I heard you messing around. What was it last week? We were doing a presentation. As we we're doing it, all of a sudden I heard wah 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 wah. <laughs> I'm going, oh god, he's playing with sound buttons right now, yeah. right? So cool. Right on. Yeah. Uh, next story, interesting research from some, some security folks, uh, basically uh, being able to build an AI detection system oh. that can detect, roughly detects what someone's typing while they are in a video call with someone else. So this is interesting. So basically, you're, you're having a video conversation with someone. Right. Uh, and like, it, like Cal? Yeah, okay. Got his you're name you're talking to someone. He's thinking, oh, by the way, he's thinking about making a bobblehead of himself and sending us the bobblehead so we can put his bobblehead here, right? <laughs> it's gonna be kind of, that would be kind of fun. Because we mention him all the time, people don't know who he is, right? So I think that would be kind of funny. We could, we could actually put it up on the on the shelving behind us. Anyway, so so you're, uh, so you're I'm messaging with Cal, okay. Okay, now yeah, and then they built an AI system yep. that can roughly detect what it is that you're typing on your keyboard. So like, for example, <laughs> passwords, usernames. Okay, but. If I'm talking to Cal, like, what's the likelihood of him? Okay, so, I mean, like, it's just another interesting attack vector for, like, say, uh, okay, corporate gotcha. espionage or it. who knows what, right? I, I mean, the chances of this, of this being implemented to average consumers, not very likely. Right. Right? But, you know, let's say, for example, a state government attack. Or, you know, my... 
I've always said that if I wasn't a cop, I would have been a criminal. Like the criminal part of my mind is now saying, well, if I'm an extortionist, right, and I'm online talking to somebody and I have this and I can actually see what they're typing, right? Yeah, but I mean, you as the extortionist, you need to, know, need to be a researcher to know the code and whatnot. It's not like this code, not so you can like easily. So it's not it's, like a program. It's not like this is an app you can download. Okay. Right? Like the, the, these are security researchers who, yeah, they publish their findings, but you have to be that smart of a person to like reconstruct it and build it. Well, you saying I'm not that smart? Uh, you're not a security uh, academic coder smart? per se. Are you saying I'm not that smart? No, you're smart. You're just not in that area. Oh, I can't believe you actually said, yeah, I'm smart. I'm like, oh my God, oh, <laughs> that made me cry. <laughs> so uh, Usually I mean, you're dissing this boomer. Oh, man. So, I mean, yeah, the probability of this ha have happening to average consumer, but let, let's say you're a Interesting. C, let's say you're a C-level executive and you're in a big company and you're having a video call with someone right. who you may not trust. Right. And who knows what resources that company might have. I mean, it's just interesting to it's think about. It's interesting. It's interesting how they're using technology to predict what it is you're oh, doing. Oh, the password, they only were able to predict like 18% of the time passwords, oh, but 91% of the time with usernames, 95% of the time with email addresses being typed well, if in. if you're a C-level executive, 18% of those, they could equal a lot of money to a potential criminal, right? Could be. Interesting. So, yeah, I mean, this is one of the ones that make you kind of go, hmm. Yeah. But is it a big security concern? No, I just think it's just an interesting think. tech thing in yeah. terms of how this no, is no, that's all, a fair comment. all going. That's a fair comment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, there's no way Cal could do that. <laughs> Uh, another story from last week. Uh, Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Is that a sandwich? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a boomer joke. <laughs> a bo so what's Clubhouse? Uh, so Clubhouse is a, I guess one, of, I guess the newest social media app out there. It's still right. currently in beta and invite only. It's and isn't it kind of like um, a talk show, it's, like a podcast? Think of it as as like a live, real time podcasting conversation platform. You, okay. can, you can make a room private or public and right. you invite people in and then people can be on stage and they can talk about events and right. topics right. and people can just listen in. It's right. kind of like, like a radio show. Of yeah, sorts. okay. Like yeah. a talk show. Yeah. So okay. it, it's, it's interesting in terms of how they're going to audio it as that kind of method. But yeah, well, that's how it is and you know, being in the new app out there, people are all like, oh, what's the dangers? And you know, does it share data with China? Does it share? Probably. Because it's owned by China, right? Yeah, I mean, no, well, it has Owned by a company in China. The, the back-end servers have ties to China. Right. But the whole question is, is that malicious intent or not? That's right. the whole thing. And I mean, it's kind of the same thing that we had with TikTok there for a while, right? Yeah, and same thing with any social network, really. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Um, so what, is this a big deal? So this one, so what happened here was an individual found uh, their the, the back-end code of Clubhouse. They, were, they made their own website, and they used their account, and they were joined into all the other rooms, and they were just live streaming these rooms on their own website. That's people, kind of what happens with all the other things. That and people were like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, worry, because this person is joining these rooms and streaming conversations on their own website, not Clubhouse. And I'm right. like, well, how is that different from someone taking a screenshot of a private chat group and then posting online? I guess the difference is it's a, sh a screenshot is just a shot in time, frozen, whereas if you're able to do it with Clubhouse, it's live, real time. I guess, but you could just, you know, do a live video screen recording and just broadcast mm -hmm. live. True, I mean, true. but people were like, oh, no, this app's a bad app for that. And I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a new app and there's going to be flaws. Yeah. I mean, even Facebook. Yeah, this one's kind of blowing up, right? Yeah, well, I mean, Facebook just got fined how many million dollars? 650. 650 million dollars. And Facebook's been around for decades. 600 million dollars. For those so, who don't know what that is, what show is that from? Austin Powers. Very good. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. So, I mean, yeah, so that was the thing. And basically, uh, security researchers are saying because there's ties to servers and the messages aren't encrypted, that, right. you know, even if you're in a private room, don't consider it private. Right. But I mean, like, that's any social network. That's out what there. we say with everything, right? No matter what your social network, no matter what your privacy settings, just understand as soon as you hit play, you are public, permanent, searchable, exploitable, copyable, shareable, and probably going to be used for sale, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's just how it is. It is. But people are, I mean, like I, I think I said last show, I think TikTok is liking all this controversy over Clubhouse because now TikTok is now mainstream. Yeah. Which means that they can kind of like. It seems to happen like every six months, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Right? Whenever a new app comes up, it becomes, blows up, becomes popular. All of a sudden, things start to happen, right? And flaws are, you know, we saw it with Zoom. We saw it, we saw it with every platform that's out there, right? So, mm -hmm. and I mean, that weakest link is always a human link. And when it comes to coding, there's, you know, usually going to be some weaknesses in coding that will eventually, now that it, this has become mainstream, people are going to look at it and go, okay, what are some of the flaws? Okay, flaws identified. 
It was identified to Clubhouse, and so what do they do? They fixed it, right? It's fixed. So. People still find flaws in Facebook all the time. Yeah. And that's been around for decades. Yeah, for sure. Uh, next is interesting article of research. Ooh, blow this one up. I love this one. Yeah, I brought this to your attention because um, there's a reason why you developed the White Hatter Studio, virtual studio, the way you did, right? Like we've been hearing about Zoom fatigue. Mm -hmm. Well, this university actually did a research, an actual research-based study on Zoom fatigue, and they were act they were actually able to quantify it to say that this is a thing. Mm -hmm. And what was interesting was one of the things that they identified were a couple of criteria that are causing this, which includes all day mirroring. Like on a Zoom meeting, you're basically looking at the other person, you're looking at yourself, right? And so that was something that over an extended period of time, people didn't like to be doing. So our platform, when we're doing, because I say this to everybody, because when we're when people are contracting us to do our presentations, they go, oh, is it Zoom? Is it Zoom? Is it Teams? And I go, no. I said, you know, I, I want you to think of Zoom and Teams like watching a black and white TV. What we do through the virtual White Hatter Studio is like watching a flat screen LED. There's a difference. Like when we in, when we do our presentations, we're privacy hawks, right? Mm -hmm. Like we we are really privacy hawks, and we both set out to find programs that would allow us so that we couldn't see students, because as a presenter or as a school, I don't think you want us to see students' faces because that gives us the ability to screen capture them and maybe post them when we should. Yeah, I guess it's different. Like, like if, we're, if we're in a school live in front of an auditorium, we take out our phone, take a picture of students, you can obviously see that and go, right. yes, just, no, don't do that, please, yes, right? Yes, exactly. But, but if you're connecting to us virtually into a studio, it's like you can't Through really... Through Zoom or Teams. You can't really, con like, I mean, technically, we were, I mean, like, we could be, we record. Like, we can, right. we can record the entire session exactly. with students' faces, which, I mean, we wouldn't do no but anyone could do that but we can't do on the platform that we use right technically so because we, we use a you basically i call it frankenstein -y, right that's what you've done you you have frankensteined i mean show everybody the back camera show everybody uh, the back camera. check yeah, this we, out people like like this this is what we're looking at, right? Like these are two 60 inch screen TVs. We've got studio lighting. We've got a third up here you don't see. We've got multiple, L yeah, this is just there's the another back. camera going here. Yeah, say. there's another camera. Like, and <laughs> do you have the top down camera? Can you show the top down uh, camera? Can we do that? This one? Oh, check that out. Look, look at that. Do you have a green screen? Do you have the green screen thing uh, working? This green screen working? Let's have a look. Hey, it is. <laughs> hey, hey, right? So it's really cool what you've done with the system, right? Where you've looked at all the technology out there and you took your experience using Twitch and Discord and YouTube to create a learning environment second to none. Like there is nobody else in the market doing what it is we're doing. Like I've probably attended close to over a hundred Zoom events or online webinars now and nobody is doing what it is that we're doing and how we're doing it. And we're actually hearing that. The last school I presented at, the teachers actually said, Darren, it was so nice that it wasn't a Zoom event. Like it was so refreshing, right? So, and yeah. it's just because of how we're doing things. Like this is an actual presentation platform, right? Zoom and there's nothing wrong with I mean, Zoom. The, the, there's nothing wrong with Zoom Teams. There's Zoom webinars. Right. And I've worked and I'm working with some larger organizations who have the budget to purchase the Zoom webinar platform, which can do kind of what we do here. Kinda. Kind of. It's, it's still not quite, and in in the q and is still not moderated, yeah. even though it's the super expensive one. Yeah. Zoom, get on that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I asked the organization going, so you have Zoom webinar, right? They said, yes. Is Q&A moderated? And they said, no. But it's a super expensive platform and ours is way cheaper. And I would suggest that moderated Q&A is important because you don't want somebody saying and doing things that all of a sudden everybody else can see yeah. because it's not being moderated. Especially yeah. us when we're in schools because guess what? You're gonna have teens that sometimes are gonna say things in the Q&A yeah. that they think is funny and it's not funny yeah. so you wanna be able to moderate that. But you know, yeah. we it, it, it's kind of cool that you actually knew this anecdotally that these were some of the issues faced by some of these other platforms years ago, right? Like when we started, because you started to transition us about almost two I mean, years ago now, Zoom's right? Zoom's not bad. We, we no. also use Zoom here, right. but it's, we use it for meetings. meetings. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because we said it at the same time. That was kind of cool. That was very, very, um, anyways, it was kind of cool, right? But we use it for, for meetings because that's what the platform was designed mm -hmm. for, right? So you could see face-to-face. -face it was never used basically as a way. But schools were thrown into it because of COVID, mm -hmm. right? They were using it as an emergency way to still communicate with others. But 
you know, what you've done here is amazing. We've had a couple of um, teachers' conferences now connect with you, asking you to talk about what you've done, right? Maybe you can speak a little bit more about that. Like, why are they contacting <laughs> yeah. you? How, how do I do this in, in an hour talk in a conference? Yeah, that's a... <laughs> I mean, I, ideally, I would have four hours, but I can do what I can in an hour. But yeah, it's... You know, people are interested in terms of what we're doing and how we do it and how we integrate it and how can we do what we do here, but on like a shoestring, if not free, budget. Right, and which can be done. It can be done. Obviously, I'm, I'm not going to say, you know, on a, on a cheap budget, you're going to get what we do here. No, I mean, uh, there, there's, there's, certain, there's certain thresholds that you cross at certain budgets, but um, yeah, I mean, you can get something pretty cool like this. Or even you can integrate. What's, what I like about our system is that we can also integrate into Zoom. Yeah. So if we're working with an organization, which I'm doing here in, in a couple of weeks, you know, who yeah, they have Zoom webinar, but it doesn't do the cool things I want it to do. So I can integrate into their platform and still use all the cool things. Even though they're hosting, I still have control over my studio. And when, camera. when are you hoping to have the sound effects ready? Because uh, we have two stream decks, right? We have a big one here. We have the big one right here, right? Yes. Like how many buttons does it have? I think it was 32. Yeah. Well, hold on. Let's see. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Four eights are 32. 32 buttons. And this one has 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. They have 15 buttons, but you can do multiple things. Yeah. And this Stream Deck is primarily going to be used for special effects. Most likely, yes. To add some more pizzazz to the program. Like not just sounds. Like we need more pizzazz. I know. But you're, you're, you're going to add not just sounds, but also visual effects too, right? Overlays, yes. <laughs> it's going to be so cool. So, uh, look, I, I mean. I, I can't wait for this boomer with my sausage fingers to be hitting some of those buttons, right? Like, <laughs> it's going to be priceless to see how this boomer is going to do things, right? Like, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's yeah. super cool. So, but anyways, back back to the uh, got a little off topic there, <laughs> but this report basically justifies from a scientific research base that what we're doing is right on target. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking at like you know why can people watch Netflix for hours? Why can people watch Twitch streams for hours? Why do people watch YouTube streams for hours? Yeah. Because those platforms aren't meeting-based platforms. Cause, I mean, because again, we hear teachers all the time saying, "Darren, how long's your?" Because uh, you're you do the four, five, six, sevens, right? And we go seventy-five minutes, including Q and A, about ten minutes, Q, fifteen minutes, Q and A, and, and, and they go, "There's no way you're going to hold the kids for that." If we had a nickel for every time we heard that message, we'd be filthy rich, right? I mean, it's, and that's just because you're not. It's not it's, Zoom. It's yeah. I mean, the same tech we use is the exact same tech like top-level Twitch streamers are doing. Yeah, like like like. Get, what? Right? Oh. Like we he's, can zoom he's out. Playing with, we can zoom out playing, he's with playing with the buttons. Playing with the buttons. <laughs> right? I, I don't want to give you sound effects. Okay. I'm, That's just going to be a train wreck. I, I wonder if we get one of Cal going, don't. <laughs> Maybe we'll get him to record, don't. And we'll have a cow button. So whenever I mention his name, we just hit the cow button. That would be funny. Anyways. But back to this report. I mean, it's kind of cool when I read this last week, and I, that's why I asked you to bring up. It kind of really justifies what you've done, right? It, it, it really does. I mean, we knew. We knew it. We knew it. Anecdotally, we knew it, right? But what this study basically does is it quantifies and qualifies it from a scientific method, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Yeah. Good on you. Thank you. Yeah, good on you. And Trust me, this well, boomer could never have done what it is you're doing here. Last topic. Oh, uh, stickers. One sticker could have exposed your telegram secret chat. What, do you like the stickers that are on your laptop? Or no. what, like they got, no, have, like have many, an IED in it or something? No. Like what? Like many um, communication platforms out there, right. uh, you can have little stickers, emojis, yep. uh, images to, yeah, your, to yeah, your text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently there's no, Telegram, for those of you who don't know. That's it, supposed to be a pretty secure. It's designed to be a private messaging platform like WhatsApp and Signal. And Signal, yeah. Although, as we've experienced in the past years, is that yeah. those apps have also had problems in the past. Yep. And that's why people always, you know, especially students, when they ask us, what about this app that says what they, what you say will be private, it doesn't record your data. Right. Yeah, great intentions, and it probably does a good job at it. But like any app out there, there can be a flaw. And there was a flaw in the sticker uh, code, basically, right. that if someone could have exploited, would have then been able to see secret things you know, meant to be private. So, mm. you know, even though, yes, you're using an encrypted private messaging platform, they're built by a human who has to code it. And sometimes the code can be flawed. And the other thing, too is that let's say I'm using Telegram and there still wasn't any flaw, it was still secure. There's nothing to stop me as the receiver. You're the sender, I'm the receiver. There's nothing to stop me from screen capturing what you sent me and then posting yeah. that publicly. <laughs> and too, that right? too, right? The frenemy. Yeah. Right? The frenemy. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
Yeah. Or even if it magically deletes in five seconds, just take a screen capture or record your screen. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only, the only way you can really like verify something won't be shared is if you actually talk to someone face to face. Yeah. And, and and even then you have to assume they don't have, don't have a phone on in their pocket recording what you're saying. There you go. So, Which could happen, right? Yeah, happens Which all could time. happen. Good show. All righty. Yeah, good show. Um, you know, last week, boy, I was I, we had 14 presentations last week. <sighs> 14 presentations over five 11, days? We got 11 this week. 11 this yeah, week. Yeah, uh, there is. You know, thankfully, I was looking at the calendar this morning, and I was like, you know what? There's some time. I can actually get to some of these other projects. I know. You know Unfortunately, the sound and the this week, it appears that I'm doing the majority of the presentations. This, last week it was you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This week it's me. This boomer is going to be his, having his butt dragged by the end of the week. But uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, it's just amazing. Like my phone just buzzed again and we got another one coming in from another school asking us to present because they've heard about us now because of what, what we've been doing, which is kind of yeah, cool. I would love to be doing more projects in here, but I got no time. Although, thankfully, this week there's some time I can do I'm it looking forward to the, the, the camera. The, another camera. Yeah, I got to right? lower that screen, make it more level. and then I mean, right now we've got one, two, three cameras, right? So we got the main camera. One, two, three, four. Count the back camera. We just knew that. Where's now. the fourth camera? One, two, three, four. Oh, gee. Yeah, so we got that the front be, camera. That will be five. Then we yeah. got the, I'm going to play with the buttons again. We got oh. the green screen camera. <laughs> green screen camera. And then we have the top-down camera, if we're yes. ever demonstrating stuff from the top-down perspective. And then we have the back camera that shows what we see, but the audience doesn't see. And you got a really cool filter built into that one. And now we're going to have a third camera, or one, two, three, fifth camera. It'll be, a fifth, it'll be five cameras. That kind of zooms in on an angle to do some other Five things. cameras. Is that too much? No. <laughs> no. Because again, it makes it very interactive. Yeah. It's not, you're not just staring at one. And the cameras we're using are not webcam. Well, I guess one is. Uh, that right? one is, the top and that, one, uh, that one technically is, but it's a Brio 4K. Yeah. And, That's mean, this one here, right? The top down? Yeah, so that, that one, one, this one is a webcam, and yeah. then the back one's also a webcam, but it's a wireless. Oh, uh, you mean this one right here? This one right here? Yeah, it's Amiibo wireless. Oh. So I'm waiting for the app update so you can actually have it wireless. It's wireless for phones, right? which is kind of cool for like conferences and such, yeah, yeah. but it doesn't have a wireless function for PC yet. Oh, okay. But there's an app coming out pretty soon that will allow me to take that wireless webcam and go anywhere in the studio. I know what I'm buying you for your birthday this year. I'm going to buy you a, a beanie that has a propeller on it. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what I'm going to get you this year for your birthday. So, because you're the tech, you're the tech guru, right? You're the tech tech weenie guy, right? Like, this is all you, man. Like, it's all you. The amount of light on here, I'm actually surprised I don't have a sunburn. Right, like, because the other thing that I've learned it's from you—it's a standard amount of studio lighting. I know, you I got mean, full, half. I know, top and you know. Light. The other thing I learned from you is that when it comes to video, um, it's not just the camera. Like, you can have the world's best camera, but if you don't have the lighting, the lighting's the key, right? Uh, if you're going off of priority, it's audio, lighting, and then camera. Audio first. Audio's first. Well, here's the reason why. Like, so you could know. have. You could have a, a video talk show like we kind of have like here, right? Yeah. But if the if you can't see anything, you we could turn it into a podcast. But uh, if you have a podcast and the audio can't hear anything, you have nothing, uh, right? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, So gotcha, gotcha. Um, in terms of priority, that's the priority. And actually, hopefully today I've got some time. I'm going to go get you a new microphone, um, which will help us do some more mobile things around the <laughs> it's studio. It's going to be pretty cool. Yes. I mean, just the stuff that you've got in your brain. Like, I don't, I don't know where your brain comes. Every morning you tell me, like, you watch tech stuff in the morning, right? When you're eating breakfast, just to learn about what's new in the zoo and to stay ahead of the curve and to do stuff, right? So, I mean, what's really cool about this, a lot of the webinars I go to, they use a, I don't want to call it a fake green screen. What's it called? Like an AI green screen? Is there a Uh, Background removal. Yeah, and so you always get this, like, a little halo effect around, and if you move too quickly, you can actually see the background. Yes, well, I mean, it's better if you have a green screen behind you, so... It's kind of like this one here, right? Like, where is it? Like, we're actually using a real green screen. I mean, you still get some green, but... but not as bad, right? But if we were to use, (laughs) say... Hey, hey, Cal, how you doing? (laughs) Right? If we, were to use, if we were to say do the automatic green screen background removal here, it wouldn't yeah. be as good as say the actual green green screen because yeah. uh, we, we do have that and it's actually right. Really? Yeah, on no this, way. On this seat, like that's, that's the actual. That's a real green screen. That's right? the actual green screen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. But you don't see that because no. I overlay that with the uh, presentations. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Great show. All right. So on behalf of my, why is uh, Laura Wright kind of funny now? <laughs> 
That that it's not actually what goes oh, through. Go. Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> I'm that. just looking at it. Don't pay so attention I know, to that. Doug Boomer, right? I'm just the tech thing. Anyways, on behalf of myself, I'm Darren. And Brandon, thank you all so much, and yeah. we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody.